Hi guys, this is Mary Beth. It's perm time. Uh huh. Y'all know who that is. Joe Clive watching people feed the fish at the park at the gazebo. And I'm gonna give you a little demonstration of how I do my own perm. I've never let anybody else put a perm on my hair because I'm afraid that I'll be missing my edges. So I do it myself. I just took it down and you can see the hair growth. It has grown and grown and grown. And uh, it's a little bit difficult for me to manage it because I have had short hair for over, I had it like 20 years. So I grew this out for my wedding anniversary gala and, and I'm trying to keep myself letting it grow. I have the urge to do the big chop, but not yet. Now I'm gonna be telling you about the products I'm gonna to use today. The first one I'm gonna use is uh, Soft Sheen Caution Professional Optimum Smooth Relaxer System. This is to perm my hair. And uh, this is step two. The first step is put in uh, Vaseline or something around your skin to keep it from burning. And the next thing I'm going to be using is Optimum uh, Neutralizing Shampoo, Cream of Nature Shampoo, Motion Setting Lotion, and via tint to tint my hair. I'm gonna roll my hair for the first time in years. So I've purchased these rollers and I'll see how they work. I've got all my supplies, uh, my gloves, my towels, I use some old towels to do my hair on account of the tinting. I have the gloves, the cotton, and my uh, hair bag, my comb, and uh, my perm brush. So I just put a, a little bit of Vaseline just around uh, the edges of my face, but I know I've used this so long that I know that it does not cause any irritation to me. I've got my hair divided off into the, the four sections and I started put in my perm onto the sections. I'm gonna use this little spatula pad and put it at the root. And um, most of the time, I like to go around the parts that I really want to lay flat. And that's around my face. I'm going to take my glasses off. I just hate to because I cannot barely see. With your spatula. And you can always use your fingers. And I'm going to do my edges first. So I'll go all the way around my face. Do the edges. I think I've got my edges done. That's in the front. And really, what I care about is my edges. If I don't get it permed too slick in the middle, um, it helps for your hair to have volume. You're not supposed to put the perm on the part that's already straightened out at the end. So. You just work your your edges all in so by the time you get around to all the middle and everything your uh, time is up and it's time to rinse this out and you got to rinse this out with the neutralizing shampoo and I do it about three times Rinse my hair out the first time with hot water because I got to get all this chemical out of my hair. I 
Okay. Now, uh, the second neutralizing shampoo. Okay, you get that all smoothed in, washed in, and then another hot rinse. This is the third neutralizing shampoo. And after I do this one, another hot rinse. After the third neutralizing shampoo, I'm gonna do a shampoo. It's a, the Ultra Moistioner um, Cream of Nature Kiwi and Citrus Moisturizing Shampoo. So I'll do that, and then I'll be ready to put my tint on. And I'm gonna roll my hair today instead of uh, drying it flat. So, in awe of the time, I'm going to, I've already got a video out of how I tint my hair and uh, sit on the dryer for 20 minutes. So, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to come back to you when I'm finished with that. Well, guys, once again, I'm up under the dryer. I'm letting my tent set for 20 minutes. Okay, I've <clears throat> put my tent on, and now it's time to do the final steps. And I got me a new bottle of uh, Motions Foam Styling Lotion. And you just spray this on, just spray it on as needed all over your hair. And I'm going to use a smaller comb to roller set my hair. This is all new to me, so I don't know how this will turn out. For me to roller set this hair, freshly permed, and longer than I've had it in years. And these are snap-on rollers. I know that I'm supposed to go all the way out to the end and roll it all the way down and then snap on these rollers. Ah. Okay. I'm rolling it to the side because I've always wore, uh, wore like a side part. So we're giving this a try. I'm going to go all the way out to the end so that the ends won't be frayed. And roll my hair up. And snap these on. There's eight of these big ones. So I'll use all of them. at the top. Okay, this could take a while, so I'll let you see the final do. Okay guys, it was a struggle, but I did roll up my hair. I rolled it up, I don't know how it looks, but I got it rolled up and I'm going to get under the dryer. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'll let you know how this turned out. Or if I need to go back to um, dry my hair flat, brushing it around, you know, and putting uh, the black papers on it and doing it flat and then curling it. But I wanted to try this roller set for one time. I'm back under the uh, dryer and I'm going to... Uh, sit here and I'll either read or play solitaire and I hope it's no more than 30 minutes that's usually as much as I can stand if it's more than that I'll have to air dry good morning this is Mary Beth I have taken my hair down and brushed it and brushed it but I have a lot of curls so I checked with my husband and he said it looks good 
but he likes my hair short. I like my hair short too, so the jury is still out on this. So, this is my hair after I permed it and colored it and rolled it with a roller set. So, please um, give me a comment and tell me how you think my hair looks. Um, I need you to like comment, share, and if you haven't, subscribe to our channel. At the end of this, just touch me and Joe Class' face, and you can subscribe from there. Bye! See you in the next video.